In this video, I'm going to show you how to affect the counter's maximum value and how to count up and count down. Currently, we're counting up. So right now, it's counting from 0 to 65,535. And it's using a prescaler of 1,000, so we can actually see the numbers on the screen counting up. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to see it because it would be going too fast. And the prescaler is skipping 1,000 oscillations from the microcontroller. So the microcontroller has oscillations of 8 million oscillations per second. And for each count, we're skipping 1,000 of these oscillations. What if we don't want the counter to count all the way up to 65,535? Maybe we want to count up to a, a particular number, like say 1,000. So let's go ahead and try to do that. But first, we want to make this number climb up a lot slower. So we're going to increase the prescaler. So let's do that first. By increasing the prescaler, we're actually going to skip more of the oscillations. So we'll have the counting a lot slower. So that's 65,535. That's a 16-bit, the maximum 16-bit number. And another thing I want to do is because we have that trailing zero and the trailing numbers in the five digit number, I want to clear the clear that portion of the screen so we can see the actual number of digits on the screen. So I'm going to clear it first. So I have five spaces. We'll make this the LCD send a string. And we'll take this five out of here because it's not an integer anymore. So it's just going to be putting in five spaces at the same location. And in that five spaces, it will put in the number. So let's see what happens when we just do that. So we have the prescaler of 65,000. Let's build and flash the microcontroller. Let's see. Too few arguments. Ah, let's get rid of those parentheses. Let's try it again. Okay. So you can see that we have the, uh, the correct number of digits shown. And every time we are clearing the screen and then showing the, the number, it's causing a haziness to it. It's, it's not allowing the number to show up for a long enough time. So let's put in a time delay, just a, one of our non-exact time delays, just so we can see this number on the screen. Okay, I'm gonna put the time delay in just after where it displays the number. So it can display the number, have a time delay, so the, dis the number will be displayed on there for a certain amount of time. And then when it gets back to the beginning of this while loop, it'll erase it and then show it again without a time delay between these two. And I'm gonna start out with uh, 10,000. Let's see what that does. 10,000 really is a very small amount of time because that's, that's 10,000 instruction cycles. And actually, it's a few more than that, but it really is a very tiny bit of time. So let's see what happens. Okay, it looks a little bit better. The number looks a little bit more clear, but it's still kind of hazy. And it's really not necessary to see sort of that, to see the numbers like counting up that fast. You know, we, our eyes are not going to perceive it anyway, so we might as well slow it down even more. So let's make it 50,000. Let's make it 70,000. See what that does. Okay, that's far better. We will notice that the number is probably skipping a lot. There's a lot of skipping in there, but that's normal. I mean, you know, even with your like smartphone, you'll notice that when you're doing the stopwatch that it kind of looks like this anyway. We're, we're showing the correct number at the particular time it's displaying the number, but we're not seeing all of them. But we are, being, we are able to see a clearer number, and that's all we really need. So let's see if we can stop this counter at a certain point. So let's stop it at um, 1,000. And then when it stops at 1,000, it'll start all over again at, a, at zero. So the register that we're going to be looking at is the auto reload register. And the auto reload register will contain a number, and that will be the highest number. You can also think of this as a counter overflow. So we're going to create 
the auto reload register, a number in there, and we'll use a thousand. So let's go ahead and just try this out and see if it works. Okay, so now it's climbing to 500, 600, 700, should stop at 1000. Okay, it did, and then it started all over again. But what if we wanna count from 1000 to zero? Let's see what we have to do. We can see in the timer one control register, there is a direction bit. So we'll access this direction bit, and it shows that there is a counter uses an up counter. This is the default value, obviously, because it's counting up. And the one in this bit, the counter is used as a down counter. So let's check that out. According to the data sheet, it says that the counter will start at the auto reload register, which is this, and it will count from this number to zero. So let's go to the CR1, and we're just gonna add this to the end of this one here. So we'll go timer, CR1, and then the direction. So we should have a one in that bit by invoking this macro. Okay, so let's check it out and see if it works. We didn't get any errors. Let's try flashing the marking controller and see if it works. Okay, it looks like it started at nine, um, well, 1000, but we only saw the 900s. And it's counting downwards. So it counted down to zero and now it's starting, now it's starting back up at the 900 to zero again. 1000 to zero. So that worked successfully. So let's look at a scenario where we can count up to the ARR value, which is the auto reload register value, and then count down to zero. And the control register give us, gives us that ability to do a, what is called center aligned mode. So let's take a look at the data sheet again. And you'll see in CMS, we have a few modes we can use. Edge align mode is the current scenario, which is zero, zero. And it, it is guided by the direction bit, which is over here. But the center align modes, and there are three of them, these modes focus on how the output compare interrupt flag is used when it's counting either up, counting down, or counting up or down. We're not gonna get into that at this moment, but understand that you could have something counting up and then counting down and having an output compare, or counting up with an out, uh, output compare, then counting down, or counting up with an output compare, and then counting down with an output compare. And we'll get in more into that in later videos. But let's keep this one simple and just change the center line mode. And we can use any one of these, I think. Let's try it out. So we'll go with 01, the CMS 01. So let's see how we can do that. And you'll probably see that we have a few of the CMSs because there are two bits. Let's see if we can find it here. Yeah, let's just put in the CMS. CM, okay. So the zero and the one. So which one is in the zero's place and which one is in the one's place? So the zero place is the one here. So we want the one in the zero place. So let's use the zero. So let's see if it counts up and then counts down. Good, we have no errors. And that flashed. Let's see if it worked. Okay, it's counting down. Then it counts up. And it counts down. So we are getting a zigzag, which is counting up, then counting down, and then counting up and counting down. So we do have the, the center line mode that we were looking for. So in this video, we've looked at how to count up to a specific number in the auto reload register. And we've also looked at counting down from this auto reload register to zero. 
and we've looked at a center aligned mode that allows it to count up and then count down and when it's done with that it does it all over again counts up counts down in a zigzag mode i hope that helps thank you for watching